we're starting off at the rear of the boat. As you can see, we have about a four foot overhang at the rear. Bring you down past the uh, rudders. So rudders are all anti-fouled. There's a touch of anti-foul missing from the, the leading edge. Nothing major. Uh, we have the rest of the boat. So put them down the sides. There's nothing of any particular note to report there. Looking back down this port side, so we've all been jet washed off, cleaned off, no, no signs of algae or uh, any growth. Uh, there's a few rust spots on the hull, uh, on the um, keel. Uh, but that's all okay. Looking at the trailer, as you can see, galvanized trailer with no signs of rust at all. Uh, tires were replaced two years ago. Uh, need some air in, but she's ready to tow away. Uh, we have long straps on. As things stand at the moment, uh, we are at the top of the jockey wheel to make sure that we've got regular draining uh, and we have a three foot overlap at the uh, at the, the front of the jockey wheel uh, with the mast so I'll measure the uh, I'll measure the end to end from the tow hitch to the, the stern shortly uh, but carrying on working round uh, you can see the fixed element of the uh, of the gooseneck that's up there just fixed in place and then coming back round this starboard side of the boat so again nothing major at all on the starboard side uh, we have a full clean lines, nicely polished and ready to go. Again looking at the trailer, no problems here. Air required in this truck in this tire as well but nothing nothing to report. So that's the boat from the outside. I'm now going to head up the ladder and show you the cockpit and inside. Okay, so this should be better than it was when we uh, sent the photos through because we've got no snow. So this is just the picture of the cockpit with the uh, hatches closed. We've obviously got a set of ladders to, uh, to get on board. Uh, and we have got an extending tiller extension, as you can see. So that's all nicely mounted and working as expected. Okay, so this is the port hatch. So as you can see, everything is nice and dry. No problems at all in here, nice and clean. We've got seals in place. Uh, here is the repair on the inside of the port hatch. Uh, so that's all glassed in, that's all sorted. And then on the outside of the, outside of the hatch, there we go, uh, my hand for scale. Um, apologies, I've just uh, put some muddy prints on the, on, the, on the boat. Okay, starboard hatch. Again, nicely sealed. We have a few fenders, a small anchor, and uh, the, the extra uh, inner shrouds uh, in there. So that's all in place, nicely sealed again, no water ingress. Okay, so quick run around the, uh, the deck. As you can see, no algae, no growth. Uh, we have plenty of grip left on the deck. We've got stays in place, so they're all around. And you can see 
we have shrouds in place and everything tied up and sort of located where it should be so no problems at all on deck up here okay so now looking at the instruments we have got as i say wind instruments and a log so they're both battery powered off the 12 volt the wind instruments are in at the top of the mast however we have no cable to uh to actually repeat that information down to the uh, to the log and the instruments on board so internally we have all of the cushions stored vertically so that we don't have any problems with mold or damp they're all stored to uh, make sure that we've got airflow and no other challenges but uh, as you can see we have no water ingress we've got the traveler here on board uh, and we've got the batteries winch handles main sheet and table uh, so that table fits both internally and externally and then we have the battery compartment down here on the uh, on the port side and we've got more cushions just here for uh, storage two burner hob uh, that's METS driven uh, as you can see only one of those burners has ever been used and uh, that was primarily for a single cup of coffee so no problems there uh, I don't think uh, so we have a small sink with tap uh, so moving forward we normally keep a small porta potty just down here to the left um, and then forward again we have water tanks uh, they're only small and nothing uh, never been used okay so now back into the cockpit we have a couple of winch handles that's the one on the starboard side and the port side winch you can see the instruments with their covers on we have handle holder down to the port and to starboard and as a, an overall view of the cockpit there we go so really is just demonstrating how clean and simple the layout is okay so here we have the mainsail this is the primary one that we use as you can see no marks no tears all in perfectly good order uh, i think this is a gocha sail that was purchased as a as a secondary it is still fairly stiff um, and uh, makes a nice crinkly sound when uh, in the wind so all okay there um, no problem hopefully that helps here we have the spinnaker um, I would grab those two sails out but uh, I'm slightly short of time but uh, no problems at all with uh, either the spinnaker okay so we've got the dinghy that comes with the boat the outboard is actually stored elsewhere but uh, there are a couple of patches on the dinghy as mentioned so these are just down here is that one there and a second one there um, obviously there's a few few usage things that have taken place over the years uh slight repair on the paddle nothing more than that 
here we have the version with the lazy jacks as you can see it's all wrapped up no problems at all with the majority of the fabric the only thing I've called out is that we do have a slight challenge with the zip where it's been exposed to UV and the same on the cover at the uh, that goes at the leech end so again just slight challenge with the zip we have the original Elvstrom sail cover that runs top to bottom uh, no problems with it apart from it's not as user friendly as the Lazy Jack version